So he may actually break your heart in regards to this person. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, Beware of suspicion, for suspicion is the worst of false tales. And do not look for the other's faults, and do not spy, and do not be jealous of one another, and do not desert, don't boycott, cut your relation with one another, and do not hate one another, and all oh Allah's worshippers be brothers as Allah ordered you. Be a single brotherhood. Even those whom we have went against, those whom we have warned against, we say from now, forgive us if we have violated your sanctity. Forgive us if we have said something that is evil about you. We take back any evil. But come back. Let us, let us, let us unite, but one of us has to give up his falsehood. And you know, Allah Azza wa Jal made it clear. It's impossible that falsehood and the truth will be ever mixed up that you don't know them. Because Allah said, بَلْ نَقْذِفُ بِالْحَقِّ عَلَى الْبَاطِلِ فَيَدْمَغُهُ فَإِذَا هُوَ زَاهِقَ قُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَاهِقَ الْبَاطِلِ When the truth comes, it's just going to debunk the falsehood. It will just kill it right in the brain. So it's clear when two people involved in da'wah, when they come together, they know, they know where the truth is. One of them has to be humble enough to submit. To say, I was wrong, I'm willing to change. Not to continue in that way out of enmity. That is what is supposed to be done. So anyone whom we have insulted, we take it back. But please, you need to change. And if we made the mistake, we need to change. But point it out with evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah. Is that a phone or, or a bird here? What? Point it out from the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the righteous predecessors. If you don't bring these, we won't accept it. We will not accept it. Until you Reference it to the authority, to the reliable, to the distinguished, to the protected from deviance. We will not accept it. That is the point. Usually they are not able to present that. Tell him about Mawlid. He says, Imam Suyuti said, Imam Aron said, Ya Akhi, Ya Akhi, I'm telling you Sahaba, I'm telling you bring me one Sahabi, one Tabi'i, one Tabi'i of the Tabi'i, one who celebrated Mawlid, cannot even bring one. But he tell you Imam Fulan said, you see, then, then who has to give up? We have to start celebrating the Mawlid of the Prophet ﷺ, or they have to stop celebrating the Mawlid. They have to stop because you haven't brought in evidence from the reliable source. See the point here? Anyways, uh, because of time, I will, I will uh, uh, exclude some of them. Yeah. But let me, if, let me conclude with what Al Hassan said. Al Hassan al Basri, said, the one who tells malicious gossip to you, pay attention now. The one who tells malicious gossip to you, he tells malicious gossip about you. Because it's his nature. And this is, this, this is the, the nastiest, scariest thing. When you see someone backbiting others, you know when you leave, he's gonna backbite you. Don't you have this feeling? Don't you get this feeling? Eh, Wallah. When you hear him speaking about someone, say, Allah al -Mustan. That's At least that's what I do. Say, Allah al -Mustan. I don't want to leave now. Because I know as soon as I leave, I'm next in line. <laughs> Which is good, good for me. Bad for him. But as one of the Salaf said, if you really love your brother, you don't want that. You don't want, yani you don't want to say, okay, give me your good deeds. And so you go, you know, Jannah, you, you want him to stop for his own good. Because you love for him what you love. For yourself. But at the end of the day, because of the people's tendency to gossip, if he does it with others, know that you are next in line. That's why when you see him, stop him. When you see him, stop him. And you know, this happens in, in da'wah. You go to da'wah centers, you go to organizations where you think this is not happening. This is happening, man. People talk about each other all the time. And you have to say, Akhi, assume the best about the brother. Don't think evil about him. You have to intervene, otherwise, they will get you next. He said, this indicates that the person who spreads malicious gossip should be hated and not believed or trusted. How can he not be hated when he persists in lying, backbiting, slandering, betraying, deceiving, envying, spreading mischief among the people and cheating? He is one of those who try to sever the ties which Allah has commanded must be upheld and who spread mischief on earth. 
Allah says in the Quran, the way of blame is only against those who oppress men and rebel in the earth without justification. For such, there will be a painful torment. He said, and the one who spreads malicious gossip is one of them. So be careful of these individuals. Be careful of these sites. Be careful of these Facebook pages, which when you go there, all you find is Sheikh Fulan warns against Fulan, deviant Fulan, Fulan. Everything is about that. That's it. Be careful of you go there, your heart will get sick and you will eventually become either a group, one of their members. And so you will be led astray or your heart is going to die. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Let them advise them. Tell them to stop. Let us make a distinction. All the people of Sunnah, people of innovation, come to the Sunnah. People of Sunnah, stop it. We have to stop it. We're killing each other. We're killing ourselves. The weaker we are, the stronger the innovators, the stronger the disbelievers. So we, the people of Sunnah, have to unite. This is the message which I wish to convey to myself first and foremost and to everybody. Again, I conclude with an apology. Wallah, no one told me to do it. Just so you won't think that this is pressure or someone threatened my life, so you better, you know, apologize, otherwise I'm going to kill you. I don't care. Okay? I'm doing it for my own relationship with Allah. If we have said some things about people that are erroneous, that are incorrect, we ask them to forgive us and to correct us. But we need to, we need to actually agree to the truth. That's what we need to do. But usually, like I said, Whenever individuals were mentioned, it was for a reason. It wasn't just haphazard, it wasn't out of entertainment, and it wasn't based on suspicion. It was after things were heard with our ears and read with our eyes. Nevertheless, we ask Allah Azza wa to pardon all of us and to accept our good deeds and to aid our...